Popeye the Video Game, or to give it its full title, Popeye, is one of the most insultingly pathetic video games I've ever had the sheer shitting shock of playing. There are many adjectives I could use to describe this game. Disgusting. Embarrassing. Pity fucking full. Quite how this complete and utter filth ever made it into production is something I may never know and will ruminate on for the rest of my career such as it is. I don't know what they were thinking when they made this. I don't know that they were thinking when they made this. I don't know who they are other than the fact that they're a bunch of fucking hacks. Popeye parenthesis 2021, brings to mind what in the movie industry is called an Ashcan project. A film that the studio doesn't really want to make, doesn't really care about making, and is only doing so to retain the rights to an intellectual property. Something it can point at to prove it's actually using said property, so that it doesn't lose said property. Trademark and copyright regulations are weird. An example of an Ashcan project would be the latter-day Hellraiser films. The incredibly late entries into the series where it's clear nobody cared, they simply cobbled together a minimum amount of footage and called it a day. When it comes to the absolute bare-bones minimum, Popeye gets to stand among the most shining examples. What you're seeing? is the game. This is the game. This is all it is. The alpha and the omega of pop fucking eye. You play as the beloved comic icon Popeye. You run around a very small map, picking shit up off the ground while avoiding Bluto, who in this game is called Brutus. I'm not sure if that's an Eggman Robotnik thing. I don't care. That's it. That's the video game. That's all the video game is. Oh, well, 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 let's be fair. You have a selection of three maps that cycle over and over and over again. Very small, very spartan, very dreary maps. Eventually, Brutus is joined by Anne Vulture and Anne Witch. And there you go, that's the game. You either run around picking up hearts that olive oil is throwing down from on high, or letters that olive oil is throwing down from on high. Oh, but the letters spell things like, oh, Popeye, I love you, or all the girls love a sailor, which I call that statement into question. I'm girl adjacent, and I'm fairly indifferent to sailors. I mean, don't get me wrong, your trash girl would suck one off. But it's not like I'm constantly gagging for one to pull into port. Anyway, if Brutus catches you, he will uppercut you into the ocean, and then you've got to swim back and you lose a life. You don't get lives back, and you have three of them. Once they've run out, it's game over. Life is finite, and I've spent some of it on Popeye. Oh, and it wouldn't be a Popeye game without spinach. You see, even though Popeye has a punch animation, it doesn't actually work unless he eats spinach, which will randomly appear on the map. Once he eats that, he flashes red a bit, can move faster, and he's able to uppercut the enemies himself, so they go into the ocean and have to swim back. Popeye is a paradox in that the more it adds, the more it emphasizes how little content there is. You see, once you cycle through the three maps, which consist of an island, a ship, and another island, you start from the beginning with, well, I don't even know how to describe them, environmental effects? No, we can't say effects. Environmental differences. You see, you cycle through the three maps during the daytime, then you cycle through the three maps during nighttime, and then you cycle through the three maps in what the game calls blistering rain? Popeye, this is blistering rain, is it? This pathetic little piddle. This is blistering rain. The only real challenge comes from the fact that Brutus can go from chasing you to spawning in front of you like he's Jason fucking Voorhees, or you get cornered by Brutus and the Vulture, or, more than likely, your mind becomes so frigging numb that you lose all concentration. And boy oh boy does one's brain get numb. The soundtrack is as repetitive and basic as the gameplay. That's it! Over and over and over a fucking again! That's all 
I've been hearing, all I've been hearing since playing it to see what the fuck it's like and playing it again to get footage of it. The only respite you get is when you eat a can of spinach, because then you get a very brief like the famous Popeye tune, and then it's right back to What do you even classify this game as, genre-wise? Is it an action game? Is it a stealth game? Is it a collector fun? Congratulations, Popeye. You've defied genre classification because you're not fucking anything. I am stunned. I am stunned. I have played years and years of low effort, low quality trash. Hell, I've even played terrible, terrible Popeye games. I played Popeye Rush for fucking spinach. I know the franchise has no dignity when it comes to video games. And yet, the sheer level of lazy contempt oozing out of this game, in conjunction with its attachment to such a well-known character, has come as a deeply unpleasant surprise. I mean, don't get me wrong, I knew it was bad going in, it didn't look good, but holy shit. They didn't even come close to trying with this. I can only assume it was made by people that either hate video game players or hate Popeye fans and wanted to hurt them in some way. Or maybe they just hate Popeye. Maybe they just loathe the franchise. Maybe this was produced by a person or persons carrying some deep-seated trauma involving everybody's favorite vegetation-munching sailor man. But whatever the motive, one thing is indubitably clear. Popeye is a scam. It's barely a product. And all facetious conjecture aside, that's ultimately why this game exists. It's a scam. It's a grift. It's a con job. A waste of time and money on the part of the customer. A slapdash farce cobbled together with duct tape in order to make a quick and dirty buck. It's not even worth playing to laugh at how bad it is. This level of creative bankruptcy is, as I said at the top of the video, video insulting. There is no dumpster slimy or filthy crusted enough to consign this to. In all honesty, fuck whoever made this. Fuck them.